I sure love to fish, and Montana is the treasure state, abundant with natural resources. Even though Montana is far from any coast, I'm lucky to spend my life around the water. Living here allows me to access some of the most pristine fisheries in the country. Within 30 minutes of my house, I can get to multiple blue ribbon trout rivers. This allows me to spend most of my days off enjoying the beautiful outdoors. Mining has impacted and continues to impact the environment in Montana, including many of the streams and rivers. Anyone who enjoys the outdoors here has experienced it. Its impacts are always there, but can be lessened with education and mitigation. I am fortunate enough to make a living studying the mines and monitoring Montana's waters for the Montana Bureau of Mines and Geology. Montana's mining history is also a piece of family history for me. My grandfather was the last of the underground miners in our family, and being able to work in and around the places where he spent so much time is a privilege I never thought I'd have. Monitoring the water in and around Montana's abandoned and inactive mines is how we ensure that remediation efforts are making the impacts we think they are. Part of my job is to track the chemistry of the water, looking for any significant change. This takes me to interesting places all across the state to systematically collect water samples. We are looking for changes in water chemistry, and if we find a big one indicating potential damage to the environment, we notify the EPA as well as Montana's Department of Environmental Quality and work with them to address it. One of the most interesting sites we monitor is the Berkeley Pit. The pit is a Superfund site funded by the Atlantic Richfield Company and Montana Resources. It is located right here in Butte near the current mining operations in the Continental Pit. Due to leaching of metals into the water from centuries of mining, the pit's water is quite acidic. The water body is also really deep, up to 900 feet, making sampling a fun challenge. Working on the mine site is always an adventure. At times, it's like being on another planet with foreign landscapes and often a surprising beauty. To sample the pit, we use autonomous technologies. For the water near the surface, we use what we call the drone boat. It was created in collaboration with scientists and engineers at Montana Technological University, and it collects samples from across the pit surface via remote control. When we sample the pit, my job is to operate a small submarine. This little guy is equipped with multiple different attachments for collecting water and soil samples from different depths within the pit. It is really like flying a drone but underwater. I navigate using depth and speed sensors in addition to a camera with spotlights. Exploring in the pit is like entering a new frontier, one that very few people have ever seen. Each journey down is like traveling through a foreign world.
When we find the spot we want, we use the sampling arm on the little submarine to scoop up some soil. We do this for different locations at the bottom of the pit. Back on shore, we carefully package this very fine sediment for transport back to the lab. With a clamshell, we snatch water samples from different depths. These samples are transported for future analysis of how chemistry in the water might change with time and depth. Since 1889, over 20 billion pounds of copper have been mined from the richest hill on earth and significant copper and molybdenum mining continues here today. However, in recent years, the Montana Bureau of Mines and Geology has been collaborating with labs across the country to detect critical minerals and rare earth elements in waters and soils from inactive and abandoned mines across Montana, including the Berkeley Pit. These commodities are key components in our lives, including computers and smartphones. We use them every day and discovering more of them is essential to technological progress. Personally and professionally, mining in Montana and its impact on the people and the environment, good or bad, has been a large part of my life. Exploring abandoned mine wastewater in Montana to search for critical commodities is a fun and exciting part of my life right now. Of course, so is fishing in Montana's resilient waters.